this is the iconic Music Man Stingray bass made in 1973 or 4, I believe. One of Leo Fender's spin offs when he left Fender, which was owned by CBS at the time, and he didn't like what was happening. But this Music Man Fender, I've taken off the furniture. And they're, it's all in the jar. I, I, sh I needed to do that before I could really make a video on it to see what was up. Now, we have a problem with this fender, quite a serious problem. Uh, I'll just show you the fender, sorry, fender, the Music Man first. It's a bit rough in the edges, but uh, that is all superficial. I can sort out all that. The pickups on this are fantastic. Even today, people love these bases. This thing is worth around three and a half thousand pounds, even in the state it's in now. It's still, the, the the fretboard has been scraped badly and it's been scored. And if you see, I've actually just scraped one to see what it looks like and put a little bit of oil on it. So the fretboard's going to come up again. But as you can see, there's a crack there. The neck has got an amazing bow on it. It's got a bow that way. Uh, can't even see if you can see it. But it's a, str it's, a, it's a strong bow. A strong bow, that's a drink. It's a strong bow, but the truss rod may have been able to take it out, but that's where the problem lies. The truss rod nut has been destroyed Somebody's been using the wrong tool in it, and the only thing that will fit is a little ratchety type. If, if I force that in, it will fit. But that's not the big problem. The big problem is something's gone wrong with the truss rod, and it's coming through the fret board. Now, the easy thing to do is take off the fret board and then replace the truss rod, except for the fact that music necks don't have a fretboard. They have a skunk tail, which has got the truss rod in it, right? So my original thought was, there are several ways to look at this to see if it can be fixed. A neck, to replace the neck, a Music Man neck, is about 850 pounds. So that's one hell of a price. I had thought maybe, and if you see behind that, there's an electric heated pad. I thought maybe you could wrap the neck in a heated pad and bend it back into a straight line. But the problem with that is you've got four massive bass strings tugging on a neck that's twice the length. Well, I shouldn't say twice. There's a standard length neck and you can see the bass Music Man neck is quite a bit longer. So just fixing the neck and making it straight on this occasion won't work unless the truss rod could hold it in place. And that truss rod won't hold it in place because it's something's happening up there which is splitting I do believe, I'll just give you an, an example of what I'm, I'm thinking about. Uh, on the truss rod, there's a there's a, something there in the wood that holds the truss rod at one end. And there's another thing in the wood that holds it. And when you tighten those two together, it squeezes the neck and pushes it up. Now, I think whatever nut is in there or whatever piece of wood was holding this part of the truss rod has split and come away or broken or rusted or something and it's damaged in there and you can feel the lump. You can actually, I don't know where you can see the lump, but you can actually feel the lump on the Music Man neck. So something's pushing up from beneath. So what I had originally thought, what, the second thought I had was take the skunk stripe out and replace the truss rod. And there's a man on the on the internet has done that, and I studied it carefully. What he did is he rootered. Is there such a word as rootered? He rootered away the skunk stripe, made his own truss rod and put it in. Now, I don't have those facilities to do that. He charged almost $300 just for doing that. Uh, well, it's a fair price if you set up an 850-pound neck. But that's all well and good, replacing the truss rod. 
but what if there's nothing up there to hold it? What if the wood has given away? There was no, you know, the wood in there is the, 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 the truss rod has to hold against, this has to hold against something. It's not that shame, but it has to press against something. What if it's all cracked and rock, rot, rotted in there? So replacing the truss rod wouldn't do the job. You'd have to find out what's wrong here. And as you see, the skunk neck doesn't go up that, pro that part of the neck. So there was a bar going through there. So what, what is happening in there? And we have to find out what's happening there. We have to find out what's happening in there because I can't think of any other way to do it. There was a thought in my head that this will come out. And I haven't quite figured out if it will work or not. But if this will come out, it does come out. I've already had it out, right? It comes out. Is there an extension we could put on there and have it pressing against that wood, the truss rod? And then would not be breaking there. The difficulty is there's something already damaged in there. So doing that may or not work because something's broken in there. And I, what I have to do is I have to cut away that neck. I have to cut away in there and see what's happening. If you look very closely, you'll see in there, it looks like a little piece of metal. So the truss rod is, this is a slot for the nut. Truss rod has been up through there and there's a crack there. So my thought is to do, hopefully it's not an autopsy, but to do a cut like that Maybe not even as long as that. Maybe I'll cut it there and t get down into there to see what's happening. Oh, the cat's just jumped in my shoulder. Just, just jumped in my shoulder. Hello, Georgia girl. She's just so full of love this weather because her boyfriend's away. Could you just excuse me? She's just... Anyway, thank you, Georgia girl. So where is the truss rod bolt is the bolt there oh, sorry georgia girl thank you for being a pain in the ass can you just move for a second or is the bolt there that, that holds this end of the truss rod is it there which is not near where the crack is it's down here so i think i have to cut away and then because this is a very large fret and the guy who owns this has it from brand new. And he says that he can play there. He, do, he doesn't need up there. So if I can cut it away, Georgie girl, you're being really loving, but a pain in the butt. Thank you. Oh, yes, I know I love you too. I uh, know, right, okay. So I'll just have to carry on holding her up like this. Right. So I'm gonna put it to the owner that I cut away that and have an investigation because I can't think of another way to fix this neck. It might be that we cut it away and we could put a brass strip in there or a, well, something. Or we might be able to put an extension on the, the truss rod and make the truss rod, it'd be not that pretty, but make the truss rod outside of the head and see. But I'll talk to the owner and he can advise me what he wants to do. Okay, say goodbye to Georgie girl and I, I'll post this up and if any of you any have a, if any of you any of you that's a no noun thing, usens if any of you have any ideas, let me know. Alright? Good luck. Bye. Okay. We're going in to the point of no return. And I'm going to use a Stanley knife. I'm going to scrape from the inside I'm going to take it away and widen it like a valley so I can see what's going on. If I cut a chunk of wood out of there, I don't want to go too far because I'll weaken the neck. Right, okay. I'm actually going to get a better pair of goggles on. Let me just see if these glasses will help if I add to it. Yeah, because if I lean it, that's okay. Right, okay, I'm going to do that. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to cut in to the neck, and I'm just going to cut down to the first line. Actually, let me make a line across there. 
because I try to not want to go past that line. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah, you are. Last time I was working on I think that give you this kind of pain was Jim Little's guitar. And it was the fender. It was worth thousands. That knife went straight in. Look, can you see how far that knife went in just with that cut? And when you're working on a guitar that's expensive and you're doing experimental surgery like this it's a bit nerve-wracking and that went straight in okay I'm gonna change this blade oh no I'm not gonna change this blade I think I'm just looking for an excuse to, to pause and I don't that's not gonna work I have to get doing this getting into there and we're getting to see just see right okay what can I see I'm gonna pause you right that's you right down into the action with me and what I can see is interesting I'll try to point it out to you once I'm 100% sure of what I'm seeing. Right, okay. Okay, I think I know what I'm seeing now. Okay, and I'll try to show it to you. I'll use a toothpick to point out what I see. It's not a cure yet. We're still, we're still away from a cure. But what you can see, you see that dark bit there? That's the dark bit of wood that comes from, from around there, right? And you can see the screw of the truss rod at the bottom. Can you see the screw of the truss rod? And what you see there is what I suspected. Let me just clear it away a bit further. This is the holding nut, I believe. This here is the holding nut. And somebody has... Well, I can't say what somebody has, but I think somebody swung up too much and pulled the holding nut past the wood that's holding it. So I'm going to clear this away a little bit further and see what I see before I make any wild assumptions or even unwild assumptions right I'm gonna I'm gonna change and I hate changing these blades because they're never as easy as what they they should be I'm finagling at my best tonight I tell you right so I can clear that away without too much worry about weakening the neck because that's not a a place and I haven't gone down past it. Right. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this. And sometimes it's not from the lack of wanting to do this. It's from people being too wise to do this. So maybe. See, there's. I'm trying to keep from below that line because that's where it's going to be. <laughs> I hate to use the term, that's where he's going to be fingering. Right, okay. Mark. This is finagling because we're sort of fiddling and trying to work out something that.
I don't think you can actually see very much, can you? I'm actually just trying to clear enough of wood away to see what I have. And that nut. What what I need to be sure of first of all is that is that nut the one that's causing the when you screw it is that the nut that's causing the crack. So that's what I need to be sure of before I can even think about how to cure that. It may be that I could maybe cut out a piece of wood, hardwood, shape it and put it back in again that might hold that nut. But I won't know until I'm down deep enough to see. It's a pity I'm doing this on a guitar that's worth so much money, but... doesn't make it any different. I can only do the best I can. Taking off the skunk, you know the skunk stripe, is not going to cure the problem at this end. Because even if I put a new truss rod in, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do something here because this wood is split. So I do think the truss rod is okay on this, but I think that it's it's the bolt, whatever. And then I'm I'm hoping for inspiration when I get down a bit further to see what I can do about making that bolt stay stay stu stay still. You see, it's, it's much harder the wood there, which means the bolt, I think, is pressed up against it. Right, okay. You still in the focus? I couldn't get you any closer, unless you were inside the guitar looking out. Yes. Is that what I think it is? Let me see. I need it. When all else fails, get a sharp pointy stick. Where's my sharp pointy stick? Oh, there it is there. There's a sharp pointy stick there. All right. Let me just tap it out. I think that would I tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to pause you and I'm going to tighten that nut up just to see what happens I have to make a little special tool to do that so it'll be take a minute but you won't notice okay I found my little tool and I'm going to turn it and you can see the, the chrome head going down in to press against that nut and so let me see what's happening here I'm presuming that that nut, I'm going to actually take a little bit of wood away here too, presuming that nut is not on the thread, it's just around the thread. And this nut here is pushing, is pulling the thread that way past the nut. I looked very closely to see if I could find anybody that had let me just look at the mechanics of this. This is pressing against that nut and pulling that bar out. So if it's pushing against that nut, that nut is held tight at that end. It's pushing, that nut's held tight. It's pushing the nut and that's pulling the this truss bar out. Well, yeah, okay, that's just, that feels so solid that I think it's right up against the nut. Okay. Well, I 
I think my next job is to make this fit something that I can put some pressure on it to see what happens with that nut when I actually put some real pressure on. But I can't put any real pressure on with that truss rod nut being as bad as it is. And if I put real pressure on and manage to put real pressure on, that could jam in that. So I've got to find a better way to push this nut against that. Okay. So one of the thoughts I had, and when I get this out, I'll show you better. Let me just take this out with two hands, It'll be quicker. Right, okay. One of the thoughts I had, because as you can see, that's completely screwed, is that if I, where is it? Maybe not this size, but another size. If I cut a slot in the truss rod, there's nothing left inside that. If I cut a slot enough in the truss rod for a screwdriver to go in, then I can turn it and put some pressure on it. So I think my next adventure is to try to get a slot cut on that. So I'll pause now while I try to do that on the vice. Right. I've cut a slot in it, but I had to use my little router with the blade on it. And, and this is red hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. Let me just see if I can show you the slot. See the slot that I cut on it, right? Now, a couple of points that I want to make about that slot is that's going to be weak, that slot, right? But also, I'm worried about where the screw's going to end up when I start to turn, tighten it, because will the screw start pushing the, the screwdriver away from the slot? So when I turn it, this internal screw coming out through, Will it push the... That, that's bent. That, that's bent. Look at that. Right. I love my router. I think it's brilliant. But it's so much hassle to put out and get together and then put it away. I don't have much spare space. You know the way these professional ones that have the big money and they can just move in, walk into another room and there's their router sitting there set up and there's their bandsaw and their jigsaw and their sanding machine. No, I don't. I'm, I'm actually not that envious. Right, now I've got that much to tighten up and I wonder where the end of the screw is. If if I can't get this tightened up against that, then I'll have to put some sort of metal spacers in there to see, to bring this out a bit so it'll push against it. But so far, right, let's just see. And I'm going to tighten this up. What's happening with the, the nut? Anything? Okay. I'm. Let me just check to see if tightening that up is doing anything at all. It actually is. So what I'm going to do is get a better screwdriver to see if it'll fit in. No. Here's a stronger screwdriver. Okay, now, let's have a look at that neck. Would you believe it? That is helping. That is helping a bit. So what this was, by the look of it, and I'm not so celebrating yet, this was split for reasons unknown, to be quite honest, because I don't know what would be hitting up against that. But let's get it tightened to where I want it to be. 
and I'm going to just take it. I'm just going to get a bit more leverage on it because I don't want to break the screw head and I don't want to No, there's no more tension I can put on that without doing damage to myself. <laughs> right, okay. Where'd I do with the straight edge now? I had it in front of me. Oh, there it is, set on the floor. Right. Do you know something? I think that's about as good as you could get. Because these music, yeah, there's no more rock in it. And the neck's relatively good. So, must have been caused by something else because that nut is pushing against something. It's That nut is not pulling as I thought it would be. It's pushing. So when you tighten it, that's pushing it, and the, 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 the truss rod's pulling it. So it, it's straightened it, I think, enough to playable. Now, one of the notorious things that these Music Man guitars have is uh, a twist in the neck. And this is no different. This one does have it also a twist in the neck. Uh, although it's not bad, to be quite honest. Right, so... The thing to, for me to do is I'm not going to do... The thing for me to do is not do anything. I'm going to let it sit. I can't tighten that anymore because I would fear to... Let me just feel... I don't want to tighten it. I just want to feel where that is going. Because I have weakened the head by taking that off. If anybody uses the wrong type of screwdriver and turns it too much, they might snap off one of the angles. And that would be awful. So I'm thinking this out. I, I, I can put a little strap in there and patch it up and things like that there, you know. This here, black wood, which is this black wood, showing through. I got a feeling they may have just made a little mistake. There's a split there, but that doesn't seem to have any bearing on the structural because all the tension's there. So that's kept the good tension there because the nut stops against that bit of wood. So what I think I should do next, and I'm doing a lot of thinking while I'm on camera, but uh, I don't want to do anything. Let the, I'm going to put it back on the guitar, set the guitar up, and just see how far out it is. I, if it's if it's far out when it's set up, then I might swing on that a bit more. But I did put an awful lot of pressure on that. But it's such a long neck. Anyway, I'm going to put this video up to let you see what the situation is so far, and that at the moment I'm sort of happy. And the owner should be sort of happy as well. Let me just see. I would say that the bow is about the width of two plectrums. I like an underbow the width of one plectrum or less. But on a bass guitar, I'm not a bass guitarist. I tell you what, let's switch you off. And I'll put it all together and come back to you again. Right, I loosened the screw off again because looking at the physics of this, hold on, let me just pull back again. I'm, right, looking at the physics of this, that nut's pushing against there. So this bit of wood was pushing up and started the crack that goes there. So all the pressure is there on that bit there from the end of the the nut to wherever they decided to end that piece of wood perhaps they the solid piece of wood with just a hole in it ended about there but we still have the issue of that crack there I have a feeling the only thing I can do is fill that crack
fill it with, 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 with wood glue and maybe try to squeeze it together a bit to give it strength or do I just fill it and hope for the best? I'll think about it a bit more. Okay, I figured out what to do. I've taken that plastic, uh, it's actually plastic, I thought it was wooden, but it's a plastic thing it's stuck in there. So it gave me a better grip on it, so I tightened a bit more and the neck went straight, which is lovely, right? Uh, had to put a lot of pressure on it to get it straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the electric blanket for it and put it under stress and see if I can get the, it straight or maybe with a little upper bow on it and then uh, when I tighten this up there won't be as much pressure on it to keep it straight and there won't be as much pressure on the neck uh, against that nut. Well that's the theory anyway and I'm going to do that. Okay, bye. Why is that light flashing? Is that because I'm recording? I think it is. Right, the neck is straight enough now it needs a shim beneath that to make it fixed, but if you see what's happening here at this end, the truss rod end is going towards that way, which it should do, and the other truss rod end is pulling up that way, and which is giving the, the neck its bend. But what is happening is that it's pushing the wood, and the wood's lifting. Now... I'm hoping that that is welded onto a bar, just like it would be at the other end. And if I clear away this part of the fretboard, I'll be able to put a strengthener in there. But I'm not going to loosen the truss rod as I clear this away. Uh, if that fails, then I, and I have to replace the truss rod. I'll cut the whole fret way down to there, take that fret out, and expose that all and see what I can do to put strength here. But I can see that the it's spreading as I tighten the truss rod. So we need we we need to see what that problem is. So I'm going to expose this further down and have a look. It's just like operating on the neck of a patient where the spine is. I spoke to Music Man and I spoke to several forums and they all say a new neck. Uh, I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to see what I can do to fix it. But I have to expose the issue first of all. And I need to dig on down deeper. Poor Christopher. Let's just hope this doesn't weaken it too much. But what I intend to do is maybe replace that whole fret. But that depends on what I find when I'm in here. Could not find an identical truss rod anywhere to this. So it may be that if the truss rod is so bad that I have to replace it, I will do a completely different type of truss rod which goes the whole length of the neck instead of using the barrel joint at the end. But tell me, tell me something. You're enjoying this. You just want to see what I'm seeing, don't you? You perverted people. You psychopaths. You guitar psychopaths. Right, okay. I must make sure I put this up. To let other people see what this Music Man guitar nut is like because could I find anything on the internet that shows the right kind of truss rod that I'm working with? All right, well, I'm not much better off, am I here? Because I think I know what the problem is. Why are you pushing? I'm hoping you're welded to something. That's why I'm going deeper. I hope you're not just using the wood as your, your leverage. Yeah. 
because if you're using the wood as your leverage and the wood splitting then that makes my job a little bit harder come on show me a truss road that I can see I have to see it you have to be welded to something you have to be you can't be pushing against all that wood maybe you can be maybe that's the way you were designed that you push against the wood and the truss rod comes out but well I think I've gone down as far as I want to go you still about right with me here so Okay, well, what I gotta do is I'm still not much wiser. I don't, I wanna be wiser. You have to find something like to learn this. So, are you using the wood as leverage? Instead of a uh, being welded onto the yeah, you see what I am doing is if it's using the wood as leverage, I'm weakening the wood area where it's pressing against. But what I'm hoping to do is strengthen that area. But I would love to have seen. Are, are, are you telling me that all you are is a little circle? Is it a little nut? Just a circular nut? Or is it a is it an oblong thing going in there? But I dare not go any further. Because the neck is relatively straight at the moment. And uh, I think all I can do is now is straighten this up. And strengthen it. But it could do some weird things. I could cut that down about there and then put a metal plate in with screws holding it down. And then the metal plate would be up against that and the screws holding it down. And then I put a, a fret board on top of it, a, a fret cover. I could do that. Do I need to do that? That's the thing. Right, okay, well, maybe as the neck is fairly straight now, I might just, in this instance, thin some super glue down as much as I can and flood in that area. Careful not to flood the area above it. Uh, but flood drip by drip into that area so it'll soak into the wood and maybe strengthen it. Uh, the problem with that is the super glue could drip onto the truss rod beneath that wood. So we didn't really get the exciting excitement that we wanted there, did, did we? Did we, did we, did we? But we had to take away that bit of wood because it had lifted anyway. Right, let's just tidy up that little piece of wood here. Right, so. I have a, a little strip of brass that could go in there, countersunk to the fret. And the brass, if it was fitted tight, it would let me get my pencil because I'm not done. For example, if I put the strip of brass there, countersunk, maybe that width and that.
with two mm, there's a fairly good depth there they got a fairly good depth half inch two screws holding that down and pressed up against that countersunk and then put a piece of maple on top of it would that help would that help well, maybe I need a, a bigger piece of brass with four screws on it to give the strength against the wood we'll see we'll see that's the thought <laughs>